I decided I will get out my big box of Cocoa Daisy and show you how I organize my Cocoa Daisy items that I get. Um, now, I didn't become a PR member until later in the year. I believe it was September when I got my first box. So um, June, July, and August, um, I purchased all on my own. And those are archived here as well. So this is June and July. This um, is a combined one because my mother-in-law collects lighthouses. Um, a lot of people divide things out into sticky notes and pads and washi. And the reason I don't do that is because I can remember this item from this kit. If I put it in with the other sticky notes, it's gonna take me longer to find than if I want the compass sticky note. Sounds kind of weird, but that's just the way my brain works. And then I have um, the pens. I could take the pens out. This is like something, I, I, while I appreciate the pens, they're not like a deal breaker for me. So I can actually take these out and put them in a functional, usable way and use them. I might move that, do that moving forward, but um, that's how I archive them. And if you're wondering about Traveler's Notebook, things I make, you know, all the covers and things, kind of like this one for Christmas, I do not save them. I throw those away. Those um, aren't special to me. And plus, I usually have photo documentation if I really wanted to go back and look them. Sometimes I keep this sort of thing, like I made a notepad for the back of my traveler's notebook. Um, sometimes I, I oddly keep little tiny pieces of paper, little things like this. It just depends on the kind of mood I am and when I'm cleaning off my desk from putting my traveler's notebook together. But some months are smaller than others, obviously. Then we're going to move on to August, which I have more than a lot of them because I got the, um, these are the dashboards. And I think moving forward, I'm going to add this to my subscription because I love the dashboards and making these little, um, you know, like journaling or photo page. I love that, that the kids can flip through. I can throw it on the coffee table and they'd be happy to look at. I am also in an upcoming video. You see all of these like patchwork things that are in some of ours, like there's this one and then there's this one. I'm actually gonna do a video coming up using these um, patchwork embroideries. Um, and so I just keep those in here for now because this clearly I didn't use this one, but you know, I could separate things by what it does, but I can, I know what I'm, I know where things are because this washi tape I know goes with this kit on this month. It's just the way my brain works. Um, here we go into, some of them are fatter than others. This one, you, we got a little, um, little notebook in here. So like there are things like this kind of like here that I have. I might hijack the rings later on, but for now it's just going to stay right here in this. And so on and on and on, that's how I save all of my traveler's notebook little pieces. And they are in order. I know that this is September and this is June and July and this is August. I don't have to label them, I just remember. Now this is the box where I might be purchasing a few more of those to just separate a few. I have been an on and off purchaser of Coco Daisy for a very long time. Um, like this is July 2007. I have random things in here um, from Coco Daisy. Now stickers, that's a whole different ball game. At the end of this, I'll show you how I store all my stickers. Because if you notice in any of these packs, there are no stickers at all. That's a whole different ball game. Okay, so then I've got stamps, um, an extra TN from November. God knows what year this was. You probably guys would know better than I would. Um, puffy stickers, um, inserts. They believe these are like May, June, something like that. Again, stickers. Christmas, that would have been nice to use. That's why I need to get this kind of out. Um, usually I put all of my Christmas items and ephemera in a separate bin. Um, I have that for most of my traveler's notebooks slash stickers and stuff. All of my 
Um, Christmas is separate. Now fall is all gathered in with all the rest of the stuff. Um, I don't delineate from that. But yeah, this is basically the remnants of all of the other past kits that I've gotten. Unopened washi, sticky notes, etc. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at how I attack stickers. So this is how I store my stickers. It's a mini binder. Uh, I just took um, one of the backer boards that says Coco Daisy and slipped it into the side. Now, how I've done my stickers, which I have some to do, which you can see here, I placed the, the former month up here in this pocket because I need to archive it. And how I archive it, I just have these, what I call sticker strips. Now this is the A5 size, I don't, which is why I haven't archived. Um, I use the sticker strips that I actually sell in my store. I wanted to store my Coco Daisy stickers in a way that I don't have to punch them and I can reuse them. So what I've come up with was these sticker strips here and you can like peel them off and start over. Um, after you finish a sheet. So the removable sticker paper. Um, so all my cast offs come in here, like the ones that I can't sell. So that's why I'm a little bit behind because I don't have any right now. Um, I do have the A5s, but again, I'm not using the A5s. And I also, I have not yet listed, which is ridiculous. But I come up with all of the concepts for all of these things and I never list them. So this is the sticker storage kit like you could get this and it's already punched and it's all ready to go and this is how I would ship it. I haven't listed that. Here are all of my, um, I love these clear dividers. These are a sell in mine shop, but I've never listed these binder dividers because, well, I don't know why. Just lack of time, I guess. But anyway, so how I organize my stickers. I put them on the sticker, the sticker strips and classify them by month. So, um, uh, I could do alphas all together, but the alphas and the numbers are most likely on the same page and it also has some of these squares. So I can't really take them away. I just know that this is June, then this is July. And I haven't even labeled them because I already know because there's my notebook. I already know what it is, so I'm not going to label it. But I sometimes have puffy stickers in here. The only things I try not to, to add on are the rub-ons, but I didn't use any here, which is, I don't know why, for July. So those are it. I just have a few stickers, some of them um, left. Then there's August. Gosh, no, I don't know why. I don't have a divider here, but there's August. Um, September is this collection here. Um, looks like I didn't use a whole lot of alphas. I'm not a lime green kind of girl, I guess. And then, um, oh, I did it by quarters. That's why. Silly me. And then uh, that's September. And then here's August, Oct sorry, October. And then this is November and December I have upstairs. So that's how I separate my, my um, Coco Daisy stickers. And by the way, if I am looking for a certain color palette in a different, I can just go over here and I know that November you get lots of browns. Um, they tend to do things seasonally with the colors so it's a little bit easier to find stuff. If I want brighter colors, I go to the summer months, deeper colors. November, December, that sort of thing. So I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward. I'm going to move some of my, um, of these stickers. Wow, they look really different, don't they? Move some of these stickers, uh, 2018. Lord knows what this is. Um, but I'm going to move these over here and stick those in with the same months because if you look, October and October, which are back here, Kind of the same color-ish palette. This is more muted, of course. But anyway, um, thanks for joining me. I'm going to stop rambling now, and I'll let you get back with your life. I appreciate you coming by and seeing how I organize all of my Coco Daisy kit. Um, not going to change anything in the near future with that. Um, I just need to get on the ball and get her done. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate you, and I will see you guys later.